I had a lot of internal battles in my childhood, a lot of uh, struggling to feel adequate. And so I used drugs to cope, right? I started using when I was 14. By the time I was 16, I was a full-blown addict. I build a tolerance and it gets worse and worse and worse and worse. I am completely powerless. I, I can't do this. I'm, I'm not meant to be sober. I'm meant to be this, this junkie loser. Any, any care that I had for my life, just, it, it was gone. I, I had the rest of, of my drugs and I laid them out in front of me and I told myself, I'm gonna do this all, all at once. If I don't wake up tomorrow, then I don't wake up tomorrow. But if I do, I'm gonna detox and I'm going to the John Vulcan Academy. I'm so grateful that I woke up. A therapeutic community is a replica of society. It's like a mini community. If we look at this massive big iceberg and the very tip is the drugs and alcohol, we take that away and we got all this garbage underneath. I remember meeting Cameron and I remember thinking, wow, what an ego this guy had. He put on this this kind of facade that's like, hey, I, I'm, I'm doing really good, everything's all right with me. And it was a little off-putting. It was hard, but I couldn't let anyone know that it was hard. I couldn't be damaged. I couldn't, I couldn't have any weaknesses or any flaws. I have to put on this face to be worthy. And so he sits me down in his office one day and he goes, mate, you know, this place isn't gonna work without honesty. I said, everyone's intimidated and everyone can see right through your act. I had two options from there. I could have continued on as this inauthentic person, or, you know, I could take what he said to heart, you know, change the person that I am, become a better person, become an authentic person, and, and that's what I did. Eventually, it gets to a point in everybody's program where the walls come down, and you have to, you know, you have to be vulnerable, right? You have to expose yourself, and that's where the healing comes. It's counterintuitive, right? But through showing that weakness, that's where you, you start to grow. Taking away the drugs and alcohol, I no longer have that self-destructive coping mechanism, right? But without the human connection aspect, without feeling connected to other people, I'm still only living a fraction of a life. I think that learning how to love yourself isn't a quick process either. It takes a whole community of people that are willing to point out all your good points and forgive you for your not so good points. Today I can look at my life and I can, I can look at everything that's happened to me and it wasn't all for naught. I feel like I deserve a good life. I feel like I deserve good people in my life and I, I deserve to love myself. After being here for a certain amount of time, you get to pursue post-secondary education or if you haven't finished your high school, you can finish up through your grade 12. As of recent, had just finished a certification on personal training. I wanna share you know, what I've gained. I feel like I've gotten so much good and I just wanna be able to help other people experience that. If I can say one, one thing to, to any person who's interested in coming is give yourself a chance. This place works and you deserve it.